I'm good, Paul. Thanks so much. Well, Southeast Texans took to the court, not the ice, and competed for some bragging rights. Canada and the U.S. face off. 12 News Sports Director Lance Edwards gives us the play-by-play. Megan -play. Augusta. She scored earlier. Just beat Rudy to keep Canada's hopes alive. She is There have been hundreds of golden moments in South Korea over the last couple of weeks. But did you know that in our own backyard last weekend, 12 News hosted a Golden Triangle battle for hockey supremacy? Two teams, three periods. No ice, really no rules at all. Just grown men from Canada and the States checking each other into the boards high sticking as often as possible, making kick saves in the net. Local dudes giving up their bodies and giving out their knees just to get the chance to fire a goal from center concrete or even punch the puck through the five hole right in front of the net. You know, it's just, it's all about hard work. It wasn't just me, it was the team effort. If we didn't have the D working hard and my other offense support me, it would have never happened. When the ball drops, the only thing these countries can rely on is their instinct to slap a wrister into the back of the net, like Canadian Mike Berkby in the fifth minute. With a tied game and time winding down in the first, American sweetheart Brian Wolf cashes in on a more than golden opportunity. There is no time to celebrate as the young blood himself, Justin Donovan, crushes a slap shot from beyond the center strike, tying the contest at two after the first 10 minutes of action. Key ingredient, it's all about hustle, baby. If you ain't gonna get out there and get on it, ain't no reason to be out here. The Americans catch an early break in the second with the great glove work of Chucky Young. In the 14th minute, veteran street hockey star Bill Travis strikes from 30 feet out. After a misplayed puck in front of the net, though, by the Americans, Berkby makes them pay, nodding the game at three right before the end of the second period. Nervous, anxious, who could break the tie and pull away? The answer would be Wolf and Travis shaking defenders and backhanding a backbreaker into the net. The U.S. playing pretty good. Um, we just got to come together as a team, get a little more aggressive on the net. The Canadians turn to Donovan in the final three minutes. Down two goals, he delivers with the punch in front of the net, then completes his hat trick with his own miracle in front of the Americans' bench with one minute left, eventually forcing a shootout. USA wins the flip, elects to defend Chucky Young versus Donovan, the first of three shots to claim the title. Young doesn't budge, denying the first shot. It's Travis's turn. He tries to wrap around Mark Kundal, but the Canadian wall says, you can't fool me. Berkeley fails on Canada's second attempt. This wolf misplays his shot into the upper corner. Koshik takes the third shot for the red deflected into the silver medal stand, leaving one chance for Brian Wolf. One shot for the Americans, a shot Team Canada would have nightmares about for the next four years. The puck lands in the back of the net, and the celebration begins for U.S. hockey dreamers not even old enough to remember Lake Placid in 1980. Kundal walks away in disgust. His legendary career ends as a runner-up. As for Wolf and the Americans, the Southeast Texas Games opened a world of dreams for the hockey stars of tomorrow who will one day chase gold. Reporting in Beaumont, Lance Edwards, 12 Sports. And coming up, finish fishing on ice, how Olympic visitors are enjoying some time away.